Hey, what's up guys? It's Poisol here. Welcome back to Driving Sight and in this video I'll be covering how many types of pedestrian crossings we have and did you know that we have a new pedestrian crossings and what you must not do on the zigzag lines, okay? All of this coming up. If you're here new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I upload a video every week on road safety awareness so you know you don't miss out on the future content. Please do subscribe. Now let's look at how many types of pedestrian crossings we have. We have um, a control a pedestrian crossings and uncontrolled pedestrian crossings. So uncontrolled pedestrian crossings are the zebra crossings where you have the flashing beacons and black and white lines. So these are the zebra crossings and nobody has control over them. And then you have the pedestrian uh, crossings which are controlled uh, like pelican crossing, puffin crossing, uh, toucan crossing, equestrian crossings. These are control crossings where the pedestrians will uh, push the button and change the light. Okay, now the new crossings that we have is London Borough of Hackney they have introduced and it's called Tiger Crossing, which is exactly like uh, the zebra crossing. It is a zebra crossing, but what you have is a cycle lane. So you can have pedestrians and cyclists uh, using that crossing at the same time. They don't need to dismount. They can actually come, uh, ride across because they have a lane for themselves. Okay, now Pelican Crossing uh, is the only one which will have flashing amber light. Okay, so just before going to green, you'll get flashing amber light. What does that mean then? It means, you know, before the green light comes on, you can actually go, but just make sure that if there is any pedestrian still crossing, you give way to them. Okay, and then you have the uh, Puffin Crossing, Token Crossing, Equestrian Crossings. These are more sophisticated crossings which have sensors and they're very clever because uh, if there are any road users still on the road, uh, the sensors will pick that up and the light won't change until the road is clear, okay? So uh, with the um, token crossings, again, you know, these are the crossing where uh, cyclists and pedestrians can cross at the same time because you have a, a cycle lane and pedestrians can cross at the same time. But any other crossings, apart from tiger crossings and uh, toucan crossings, cyclists have to dismount and walk. They're not legally allowed to ride across because there is no lane for them. But on the tiger crossing and uh, on the uh, toucan crossings, they can ride across, okay? And uh, sometimes you'll come across uh, equestrian crossings. They're normally in the rural area where horse riders and pedestrians can use at the same time, okay? But on all of those pedestrian crossings, what you will find is zigzag lines on the approach. So on both sides, you've got zigzag lines. And it's very important that we must not park on them because you must not park on them and you must not overtake the leading vehicle. I'm seeing a lot of um, drivers in the workshop now because they're parking for a very short time on the zigzag line, maybe for a minute just to pick up something from the corner shop or, you know, to go to the chemist and they get in ticket. So it's minimum three points and hundred pound fine. It always was an offense. It is an offense. So please stay off those um, zigzag lines. Don't go parking on them and try not to overtake the leading vehicle. Okay. Uh, parking on them, basically what it does is it blocks the view of the pedestrians and, uh, you know, the um, approaching traffic as well. So therefore, we must keep that area clear. It is a designated pedestrian crossing. So when you are approaching pedestrian crossings, always check your meter, approach with caution, check your meter, find out what's going on behind and be very careful because especially if there's large vehicles around, if there's a traffic queue um, where you have buses on the opposite side or lorries and vans, uh, then what happens is that your, your view is blocked and pedestrians don't always use the actual crossing. They come between parked vehicles and it gets complicated. So it is a, a pedestrian crossings and we must be very clear about that and approach safely okay now question of the day for you um, how do you normally approach any pedestrian crossings please comment down below and have you heard about the tiger crossing until today let me know and if you got some value out of this video please uh, give me the thumbs up and don't forget to share this video Okay, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider subscribing because I upload a, a new video every week uh, over the weekends and, uh, you know, you can be up to date with what's happening out there. So until next week, um, you know, use the road safely. Uh, you can watch some of my other videos as well, just up here, either on the left or on the right hand side and, um, you know, use the road safely. Thank you. Bye for now.